Hey, what's up, everybody? I was recently asked, hey, what does this little button down here in the left corner of the map do? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you right now. That button is what is called the grid. You turn that on, and it overlays a grid on your map. And you can use that grid in your editing by snapping to it. If I go to Create, I want to create a line, I can snap to that grid. You can also use the grid in conjunction with this inference button. And I'm not going to get into that today. I'll do another video about inference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this grid to help me take this building, the lines in this building here, copy them and paste them to this area and rotate them to their correct angle. And I'm going to use the grid to do that and snap to that grid. So the first thing I need to do is get the grid aligned correctly, and I can do that by hovering over this grid, and if I wanted to specify an angle, I could do that here. I could just type in this angle up here, 54.1123, and then hit enter. Well, that didn't work, so we have to go negative. If it doesn't line up with a positive number, sometimes you have to change it to a negative number. But I think the best way, I'm going to reset this. This is what this little button does. I'm going to reset reset that grid with that little button. The best way to get the right origin and rotation is by using this button right here. I'm going to click that, and then I click one point, and then another point that I snap to that line. So now my grid is parallel to this line and this bearing here, which is what my building is lined up with. Now I need to set my origin in the right place. I want my origin to be at the end of this line where the building starts on that corner. So I'm going to hover again and just use this tool that will keep the angle but change my origin. Now I've got a line here along the side of the building that I can snap to. Now I'm going to select those lines except I got this little one selected and I don't want it to go. So I'm going to zoom in and hold down my control key and unselect that line and then hit my handy back extent button on my mouse. If you haven't seen my mouse video, you need to go check that out. Now that I've got my lines selected, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy them and hit that drop down and do paste special. And I want it to go into the same layer. So I hit OK. Now my lines are all, the new lines are selected, and I'm going to move them by holding down the control key and clicking on this corner that's going to be this corner up here. Click there and that moves my anchor to that corner. Now that corner will snap to what I want it to. Then I drag them up here, snap it to that line right there. But now I've got to rotate it. And I can do that by just changing the tool down here. It keeps my anchor point where it belongs. And I want a second anchor point. There's a secondary anchor point. I hit the S key while I'm hovering over this line. That drops that orange circle, which is my secondary anchor point. Then I just rotate it and it's snapping to that grid right there. Hit that checkbox and it's done. So much easier than entering them by hand. And that grid's pretty easy to move around and change the spacing. You can even change, see how some of these lines are darker, that every tenth line is darker. Uh, and you can change all that in this grid settings. You can turn off snapping. So here's that inference we were talking about, but I'm going to show you later. Here's the major line interval. It's set to 10. The rotation angle right here, and notice it's 36.03, which is different than the one I entered, which is up here. And I think this is just expressed in decimal degrees.
pretty sure it parses it correctly if I enter 54.1123-1. Let's see what it does. You can even change the symbology. If I wanted it to be red lines, you can change that. You can also set the scale for it to turn on and off. And then again, you can reset it by hitting this button right here. So that's the editing grid. I hope that helped you out. I hope that helped you become more efficient in how you edit things. If you use the edit grid in a different way than how I showed, let me know in the comments and I'll do maybe a follow-up video and give you a shout out. Or if you can think of a different way that you could use the grid, let me know and I'll also give you a shout out. All right, go out there, use that edit grid, be more efficient. And here's that mouse video I talked about earlier. Go check it out. We'll see you next time. Be kind out there. Inference, 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 inference.